हे गाइस वेलकम बैक सो आई हैव सीन एवरी टाइम व्हेन एवर आई टॉक टू अ नॉन आईटी पर्सन दे हैव अ फियर ऑफ व्हाट आई विल डू इन द आईटी सेक्टर आई डोंट नो एनीथिंग सो लेट मी टेल यू गाइस थ्रू आउट दिस वीडियो इफ यू विल वॉच दिस वीडियो कंप्लीटली देन यू विल गेट टू नो इट्स not that what you are thinking an it sector or it field or engineer engineer's life is so let's get started let's start with what what is your expectation what you thought what you expect how engineer's life would be and how engineer uh, engineer life is i'm going to tell the reality no uh while i was while i was a student i used to think like oh my god i don't know dsa skills i and i was not that much good in everything i was like uh i was an average student in average uh i would say i was average in uh, programming languages i was i had a basic knowledge of each and everything whether it's a database whether it's a whether it is a programming language i had a basic knowledge so i thought like would i be surviving in the industry because i don't know dsa so basically guys it's been 3 year in the corporate world or it sector i have never experienced that we are using somewhere dsa and and some ds dsa algorithm i haven't seen like we are using some algorithm we are we are you know solving some problem using oh in, in this uh, problem we need to use that algorithm that algorithm will fit into this problem so basically those who have a fear that what they are going to do in the it sector because they don't know dsa chill guys dsa is only for your product based selection in industry either you are in a product based or you are in a service based you should have a basic knowledge of coding a little bit of coding is enough because throughout your journey you will learn and yes i didn't use dsa much algorithm most of the algorithm i haven't used it much so this is what my experience maybe uh, there might be some project they are using it but past 3 year of experience i haven't experienced that and most of the people would agree with me because whatever how we develop the project we are developing a project and we are if you are we are working on the project there is some workflow we there is some requirement we do our a normal coding a normal coding skills is enough to work or to survive in it sector so don't have that fear of you know i don't know this i don't know that how will i survive because this this is a basic coding skills you what you need to develop yourself in the it sector and if you have a dss skill then it's good enough it's good it doesn't mean that you will not feel complication there is a chances that you you may feel complicated uh, with coding but that chances i feel it's 30 or 20% so basically 70% of your coding skills well will be if you have a average coding skills it's good and 30 or 20% you will find that complexity and just because of the 30 and 20% if you will decide that i cannot do anything then it's not good right so just think of that 70 to 80% there is a chance that i can survive because that coding skills not it's not required that much complexity so think about it and for those 30 and 20% or 40% if i'm talking now that too also you will learn with time with time everything is possible you just have to put you put your put yourself you have to just make your effort to learn the things throughout your journey until or unless you will not learn you will not get to know so never stop learning whenever you find some complexity just make a note of it and so that every time whenever it comes in future you can at least you will be having that idea what to do next so this is how life goes on in it sector so those who had a doubt i think it's very much clear never feel like i cannot do this because you can do this that's why you got into a non it people got an offer letter of a it company because you deserve it okay so hope this video was helpful for you if it was helpful for you don't forget to press thumbs up yaar means it hardly take 
fraction of second to press the thumbs up and it will add into my impressions on YouTube that I got some good impressions on YouTube channel and YouTube will consider my video into some good category. So for that you can press thumbs up and you can post your comment on this video was that helpful for you so that in the coming videos I can improve my content. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching.